archaeologist Paradise, divers uncovered a rare 4,000-year-old Greek underwater city from the time of the Great Flood. Now, why do I say it's from the time of the Great Flood? Well, 4,000 years old, that's 2000 BC. And I just looked up having to do with uh, the timing of the Great Flood. The, time, the, the uh, deluge of the date of Noah's Flood. And according to that, well, look, okay, let's say we're take away 2,000 years. We're at the time of Jesus Christ. About 1,000 years before that, we had King David, King Saul. And about uh, 500 years before that, we had the Great Exodus at 1,500 B.C. And we had the uh, establishment of Abraham uh, in the uh, land of uh, Canaan around 500 years before that, and according to creation.com, the date of Noah's flood, they say that according to the Acts and Genesis, uh, uh, Galatians and uh, passages, that the biblical data places a flood around 2304 BC plus or minus 11 years. So that was about 4,300 some odd years ago. So obviously this settlement then is around the time of the Great Flood. Archaeologists uncovered the massive Bronze Age city, the ancient Greek city, submerged below the surface of the Aegean Sea, and this they described it as a quote-unquote paradise. Well, obviously it must have been, uh, we assume, around the coast of the area, even though today it's found underwater. It was uh, made by find on the Peloponnese Peninsula south of Athens, in an area close to Gilava Bay, which is known to be of historic importance, is protected by the Greek government who strictly regulates diving to prevent looting of archaeological artifacts to be found out there underwater. But a group of researchers from the University of Geneva made this stunning discovery while they were training at the nearby Lambayana Beach. Divers first spotted fragments of pottery below the surface of the water hinting at the possibility of a submerged settlement, and returned a year later to conduct a full investigation. Overseen by the Swiss School of Archaeology in Greece, in collaboration with the Greek Ministry of Culture, they used the world's largest solar-powered boat, the Planet Solar, to aid in their research, and according to the team, they found several buildings dating back to 2500 BC, and they lay in the expansive ruins which cover 12 acres. So, 2500 BC, gives it a date line around the time of the Great Flood. What baffled the archaeologists, though, was the settlement containing at least three horseshoe-shaped foundations attached to the line, wall line, believing to be a type of defense fortification unseen anywhere in Greece. Julian Beck, the antiquities professor at the University of Geneva, said, the importance of our discovery is partly due to the large size. The chances of finding such walls underwater are extremely low, the full size of the facility is not yet known. We do not know why it is surrounded by fortifications. The team found more than 6,000 artifacts connected with this settlement, including paved surfaces appeared to be streets, as well as a wide array of pottery and stone tools. Now, Professor Beck described the site as an archaeologist's paradise. This was back in 2015. This submerged structure found by the researchers date to around the same period as the pyramids of Giza and the early Minoan settlements in Crete, even though many believe that the pyramids of Giza are much older than what uh, the um, Egyptian antiquities claim. But they, uh, these here uh, predated the first great civiliz Greek civilization, the Mycenaean, about 1,000 years. Even though the experts are still determining the extent of their discovery, Professor Beck compares it as foreign to the town of Lerna, located in the nearby Gulf of Nafplio. So, yes, they had paved streets, paved with uh, rocks and pebbles, uh, which would last, of course, uh, thousands of years. We even have Roman streets laced with um, uh, rock and uh, pebbled rocks that are still very in very good condition today, whether they're in Italy or in Greece or in uh, Asia Minor or even Britain, because we know the, Brita uh, the islands of Britain were, of course, Roman settlements. So um, this is a fantastic find, and as we said before, it's around the time of the Great Flood of Noah. This is by Callum Hoare of Express UK.
If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media, and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.